Hey there, Green Meadows families and friends, and welcome back to Zooming In on Green Meadows. This week, our special guest is Mrs. Jarman, or as you may know her better, Miss Petty. This is Mrs. Jarman's first year at Green Meadows, but at this point, we already consider her a seasoned professional. Let's learn more about her after the break. Well, hello, Miss Petty. How are you this afternoon? Hello, good. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, we're recording this and we both have some extra people in our room, so hopefully they can keep their volumes down a little bit. If we pick them up on the camera or the audio, it's okay. I'm sure people will understand. So uh, oh. <laughs> thank you for joining us. We're happy to have you. Um, I know that many, many different students in the building, I'm sure, will be excited to learn about some of these answers. And a lot of them this year already know about you a little bit. So yes. if you're okay, would let's go ahead and get started with our questions. Does that sound good? Let's go. All right. So the first question is just about Green Meadows, and it's just asking, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your job at Green Meadows? Okay, so my job uh, is that I'm associate teacher, so I substitute all around the room. Um, there has been a few people out this year, though, having babies, so I've been uh, on the maternity leaves for okay. a Very couple cool. months at a time, but that is my day-to-day -day job. Very cool. Yeah, you've had uh, some extended stays in some rooms, and I think yes. uh, the kids in those rooms have really enjoyed you being in there, and I think you've enjoyed it a little bit as well, yes. so that's kind of nice. Definitely. All right, well, our Green Meadows question is out of the way. Now we are going to move on to our random questions. I don't think they'll be too hard. Uh, our first question is, when you were asked as a child, what do you want to be when you grow up? What was your answer? I wanted to be a vet when I was a child. Oh, really? A veterinarian, huh? Yes. Why is that? Uh, I love animals. I have always loved animals, and it's deep in my roots. My whole family loves animals, so we're a big animal family. So, Lots of pets at home? Yes. yes. <laughs> Lots of pets at home. Very cool. You have a couple kids interested in some rather large animals, don't you? Yes, horses. Yeah. And that's actually, I had horses when I was young. I oh, really? rode horses when I was young. I, when I was a kid, I had, well, I had one horse that I had almost my whole life. Um, but yeah, Mabel, my oh. daughter, is, she's very into horses. Yes. Very cool. Well, maybe either one of you could still be a vet. So who knows? Yeah, true. <laughs> All right. Uh, our next question is, <clears throat> if you had the ability to teleport, what is the first place that you would travel to? the ability to teleport. With all the people Mrs. Jarman says she has in her family, we could go up and subscribers just from them signing up. But we need your help as well. Click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Zooming In videos. Like our video while you're at it. Probably Rome, just because I've always wanted to go to Rome. Very cool. Yeah, that'd be a good one. You wouldn't have to fly. Nope. Yeah, I was thinking somewhere in Europe as well, just because, you know, flying across the ocean is long and boring terrifying and too. <laughs> if i could get there immediately i'd have a lot more time to spend actually going around and being a tourist yeah yeah so rome very cool go see the coliseum yeah that'd be pretty cool yeah um all right let's see what do we have up next um uh let's see we're talking about food so what food do you crave more than any other and why do you think you like that food so much what food do i crave well it changes based on the season, but like in the wintertime, honestly, I crave grilled hot dogs. I just like, <laughs> the, you know, and cookout food really in the, yeah. in the wintertime. So uh, I'd probably say grilled food in the winter. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, little category. We can deal yeah. with that. Yeah. Uh, that's, I wouldn't have thought of that. So very yeah. cool. Yeah. Grilled food in the winter. Yeah. You don't get it very yeah. often. I do know some crazy people that grill out all year and stand well, out in the cold. I do sometimes. But... I do sometimes. Yeah. I, I am not that brave. I'm not going to go stand out in the snow to go grill my hot dogs. But I if you do. do that, then good for you. <laughs> Only every once in a while when I'm craving them, craving <laughs> grill, just summer food in general. Yeah. Bad enough. <laughs> okay. If magic were real, what, type of spell would you try to learn first what type of spell yeah miss jarman talked about her family's love of sports if she wants to support some of green meadow sports she could do so by visiting our bsn sports store linked in the description below to purchase just the sportswear they need 
I would probably, honestly, I would probably learn the cleaning spell to clean my house, my laundry, my dishes, so I wouldn't have to do it every day. That is perfect. <laughs> probably cleaning spell. Yeah. That was nowhere in my thought. That's awesome. You could save so much time. Yep, I would. I would. And I don't have a, I don't have a lot of time in the day. <laughs> yeah, there's, so, you got a lot of errands to run, a lot of kids to keep track yep, of. So yeah. True. A cleaning spell. That's awesome. Okay. Be helpful. Um, we've got two more. Uh, one re, uh, relates back to your job that you would like to have been, a veterinarian. What animal would be the most terrifying if it could talk? And what do you think it would say to you? terrifying if we could talk yeah um i don't know probably a a bat i don't okay i i just i don't know and honestly i don't feel like they would have much nice things to say i don't i don't really i like animals but i don't really like bats so um <laughs> i think probably a bat what and do i don't you, think it would have a lot of nice things not to say, a lot of but, nice things you know. okay not like Hey, I'm eating all the mosquitoes. Don't worry about me or anything like that. Yeah. He'd just, he'd just say mean things to you. Probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, when we were coming up to the questions, a couple of my tag kids said maybe a spider would come spider. up and talk to them. Uh, that would probably I'm freak not, them out. I'm not too worried about spider, spiders. Okay. If they don't bother me, then I don't bother them. Yeah. So. Fair is fair. I'm good with spiders. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last question. If you were given $5 million to open a small museum... What kind of museum would you create? What type of thing would you like people to come see? Easy. Uh, basketball. Or some type of animal museum. Basketball okay. or some type of animal, animal museum, for sure. So sports or animals, one or the yep. other. Yes. Which is basically what you're involved in all the time, right? Yeah. That's my day to day. That's my day to day. <laughs> okay. So that's all of our questions finished. But before we go... If there's anything you'd like to say to the community or the students or uh, staff members that could be watching, this is the time to do that. Um, I just want to say that I genuinely love my job. I love every student that I have come in contact with. And um, I just really enjoy being here at Green Meadows. I really do. Awesome. Well, we are glad to have you and we hope you stick around for a while. So That's thank fine. you for joining us today and we will look forward to seeing who we have next week. All right. Thank you.